Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to have an assembly of different parts uh, using solid edge. Like how to put the parts together. As you can see here for this vise, we would like to put the different parts and to assemble it to create the, the device, the device. So now what first what you need to do is yeah. <clears throat> You, you're gonna create the uh, the parts, the base, the handle, the handle screw, and so on. You create the different parts of the device and save it in a in a folder, and then we will access it to drop uh, to finish to do the assembly. So let's go open uh, new new. And the dimension are in millimeter so this way I will use isometric and then instead part not draft but I will use assembly you see this is the one I'm gonna use so you have different type you have part for modeling and you have a draft the one we, we used to do as a second part and then I want to do the assembly here and the last one is the sheet metal if you are doing some design using sheet metal so I'm gonna use isometric assembly so say ok this will open a new page to do the assembly as you can see if the folder is not available for the parts just uh, find where did you save it in your computer and then you assemble. so I save it under MBE 103 the lab number 13 then you have the five parts okay the first thing is you're gonna double click on the base you start with the base so I'm gonna double click on the base this automatically will drop the first part on the screen then the next item will be the screw so I'm gonna drag it and put it somewhere here okay so now I have a screw and I need to assemble it with the part here. So I'm gonna look at the uh, assembly relationship, the assembly relationship. And in my case, I would like to do this uh, insert. I need to insert it. So this insert. Okay. The insert allow you, you're gonna insert this one inside this one this axis here and then you're gonna make a distance between 35 you know, 35 millimeter between the the the, the, the surface and this side here with the top surface here so this is automatically put the parts together in the same location but there is a distance between this uh, surface here and surface here there is a distance about uh, 35 millimeter okay now I'm gonna put it back to the same and then the next item we need to put is the movable jaw so I'm gonna drag the movable jaw put it here somewhere here okay now I need to attach it to the to the uh, movable jaw, uh, the, the screw. So to do that, first I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, hide the base so I can see the shaft. See, when you click on the base and check it, so this will be hide. It will be hide it. And then what we need to do is just again we're gonna insert this axis the axis of this axis here what is the axis okay. okay the axis of this one what is the insert okay insert this is insert here it is so insert this axis okay with this axis and then what 
then the surface sorry I'm going to zoom the surface the bottom of the surface what is it okay just yeah the bottom of the surface here with the top of this surface here oh, okay and then the axis here to the other axis here so now everything put together so I'm gonna go home now I wanna okay I wanna put the uh, the reference axis reference plane I'm gonna put the reference plane and see how it is is it aligned oh it, for me it is aligned if it's not aligned with the ver with the axis what you need to do is either you can either you can align because I'm sure you're gonna face this uh, problem which really is okay if, if this not aligned to fit in the hole very well what you need to do is you can uh, go to a planar align with planar align you click on the planar align and make sure that this surface here is aligned with this surface here you see the surface should be aligned with this surface in my case it is okay it is aligned okay now we will put back the, ba the base <coughs> and as you can see from the bottom is the, the jaw fits very nicely and neat in the uh, in the base okay now i need to move the handle okay and watch the same thing we're going to do is that we're going to insert this handle inside this one and then what and then i'm going to leave it there and then after that i'm going to go to planar alignment planar align okay planar align what i'm going to do i'm going to align the surface of the plane here with this plane here but there is a distance between them is going to be 10 millimeter difference so I'm going to put here a 10 milli, minus 10 millimeter in this direction, minus 10. And then I'm going to say align the surface here with this surface. This will put the, almost like a symmetric in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the drawing. And the next will be the handle screw. I'm going to drop one here next to the, uh, this edge and another one next to the other edge here. And what we're going to do now is, as you can see, oh, okay. So I'm going to put the axis of this knot with this axis. Oops. And then what did I use? Okay, the relationships. Let me reuse it a uh, different way. That's okay. So, uh, what do I carry here? I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna put here minus 10. Okay, we're done with that. Okay. So I'm going to use, okay, so this well, this axis, with this axis, and then the side here, the, the surface here, the surface here, let me do that. this axis, with this axis and the side here the surface here with this surface here and this is how it is fit you see it fits nicely and neat 
So we'll do the same thing for the other one. The other one, as you can see, the hole is the other side. So what I can, I can leave it like that. Like, that's fine. I'm going to zoom area here. And this is how I'm going to do it. So insert also. So this axis should be with this axis. And the surface. Yeah, you see the surface here? Will be with this surface here. And this is how it is done. So it flip around and it, 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 it fits nicely. And okay, so this is how we put all the parts together. And let me go to the home. And we will succeed to do all the assembly together. And this will end uh, the first part. Now I'm going to go to... Don't forget to save this one under your name. So you can go file, save as, save as, and then, oops, okay, save as, and then you can save it under your name. Lab 13, uh, your last name. And it will be saved in the assembly format. You see assembly format? Okay, so. I don't need them because I have one already. So now I'm going to open the draft sheet. I'm going to say new. New. And you know the draft sheet will be in English. So I'm going to say OK. Double click here to get size B. OK. Fit. And then here I wouldn't care that much about uh, the dimension and everything maybe you can put down your own dimension but actually all what you need just I need you to put me all the the vice assembled just one one graph here so what I'm gonna do is just I uh, gonna click on the view with that and if I have this is assembly file I say open and maybe I can increase the size Make it one to one. That's a good size. Now uh, I'm going to click on this one, get a grayscale, and then up to here. Then here I will say update. Okay, so this is what give me the simple device. Now we need to save that under your name. Uh, but uh, let's first type that this is the lab number 13 so I'm going to say get the font I'm going to use 2 ok and bold so I'm going to type here lab 13 dash your last name and I'm going to Select it and just move it here. Don't forget to save it. So I'm going to say file, save as, save as, as lab 13 save. Okay, here it is. Okay, so it's just it is saved already. And, and this will end the session for today. And uh, Today we learned how to put parts together in the assembly format. And good luck and see you next time. Bye-bye.